That was a fun watch, the NBA All-Star game. I, I will say this. The um, we, we in the NFL um, went through it in um, April when things were obviously quite intense. Um, I just saw on Twitter that on Thursday night, uh, the president is going to have his first nationally televised address to the country to commemorate, if you will, um, the one-year anniversary of the shutdowns, the business lockdowns wow. going down for COVID. So it was obviously a different time last April, but there was a ton going on last March for sure with why is the NFL going through with free agency? Why is the NFL doing the N NFL draft? Why? And then free agency hit, and it was like, okay, I appreciate this uh, this diversion, <laughs> even though there's millions of dollars being flown around and and uh, and lives were being um, turned upside down by COVID a year ago this week. Uh, and then certainly the NFL draft. Why are you doing this? Oh, wait a minute. It's uh, this was this was this was good that the NFL got this out of the way and continues yeah. to move forward and march forward so if there is a possibility of having a season we know what teams have which rookies and oh it was great to see belichick's kitchen with his dog and uh, <laughs> and uh what was going on in uh, vrabel's house and all of that stuff and suddenly we realized that we could have a diversion and i know that was the conversation amongst nba players why are we doing this even lebron was like i'm not really up for it but i'll do it i'll be there because he understands his role in the nba and then um the ball, you know, gets tipped last night, and it took one half of one quarter for, I think, everyone to forget why we were doing this. It was so wildly entertaining. And, you know, we get, I, I think the best compliment that we, knock on wood, get as a uh, team here at the Rich Eisen Show um, is, you know, it looks like you guys are having fun. Yeah. Yep. And... It looked like they were having fun last night. They were having fun. They were laughing. They were having a good time with each other. Giannis looked like a, a three-year-old child, you know, <laughs> as overgrown. opposed to the grown-ass man who didn't miss a shot. Unreal. 16 of 16. And, you know, Lillard and Steph were launching threes sometimes before they got into the front court. They were just launching it from their side of half court. Unfortunately for Team Durant, I just named you three members of Team LeBron. <laughs> and so LeBron got out of it what he was looking for, which was all the money for his charitable benefactors last night. And he hardly played after the first quarter. I mean, he showed up, he tipped off, he played, and then let, let the rest of his teammates handle it the rest of the way. And you could see, like, Kyrie um, and Bradley Beal smiling behind LeBron as he's about to just jam one down. That's a great photo. That's the photo we have right here. And um, and Curry launches a three from the corner, and as soon as he launches it, he turns around, he starts chit-chatting with the fans, and it drops, right? And Kyrie had some really excellent runs at the basket I, i'll ask you this chris brockman when was the last quarter of chris paul's career of his future hall of fame career right when was the last time a quarter for chris paul began with him winning a jump ball or attempting a jump ball let alone winning one and it all it ended in the last minute with him dunking in a game. When was the last time that happened for Chris Paul? Do you think it was the first time maybe in his life? Like youth, the, the youth second, basketball? I don't maybe? know. The second like... quarter of last night's game, as you know, because of the NBA, they reset to zero for right. each quarter. And um, it's kind of like a skins game. It doesn't go. Uh, I, how would that work? It, would it be like a skins game if the first quarter was tied, then the second quarter would be worth two yeah, quarters we're, worth we're of double. money? Yeah, of okay, course. so. Mm -hmm. so it began with Beal and Paul jumping it, <laughs> which was fun. fun. These guys are having fun. Totally fun. And then Curry dunked one. And Curry then, caught an alley-oop from Chris Paul. Right. And then Paul dunked one. Yeah. Curry threw the oop to Chris Paul. Like right. They, yeah, they went back and, forth. back and forth. Yeah. Right. So, Game was dunking like it was crazy. It was just a total, complete blast. And then 
It was fun. The game wasn't close. I mean, no, I, but it doesn't matter. Out, these these like, don't, whatever. you know, obviously having it close at the end like it was last year under these new rules right. where you have to hit a certain number to win it, and the number turned to be 170. But uh, I, I, it was a tremendous diversion. Totally loved it. Totally enjoyed it. And I'm appreciative of them doing it. From, like, Gladys Knight's version of uh, of uh, our the Star Spangled Banner, the National Anthem. Yeah, it was good. She's there in Atlanta, and it was, it was one of those moments with my kids. And my kids loved it. Mm-hmm. I mean, Gladys Knight is singing the National Anthem, and I'm getting a little teary-eyed. That was cool. And, you know, my wife and I know about Gladys Knight and the Pips, know about Atlanta, know about the significance of this moment and She's HBC leaving. and the HBCUs that are, being, that are being, you know, um, filled up with having their coffers filled up and it's just it was a moving moment for me and zan my 12 year old looks at me and goes you know dad and i'm like what he goes you know gladys knight finished third in the mass singer and i'm like no that's not (laughs) that's not (laughs) that's not uh what this is significant about no (laughs) at least he knew who she was though right he did no but he didn't know who she was when the mask was taken off (laughs) <laughs> he learned who she was when the mask was taken off, and clearly it's portable. So yeah, I guess yeah. it worked. <laughs> I put this you know, up. Dad, she finished third in the mass Singer. I'm like, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, but let me tell you something else about Gladys Knight, if that's okay. <laughs> Did you fill him in? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> she finished third in the mask. That's what he said. You got to love that, though, right? Because we all had to learn it about her really at some funny. point. It is really funny. You know? Sorry, you were saying? You were oh, no, I was say saying, something? here's how you know that Steph is great. When Reggie Miller, who previously was oh, known please, as right? the greatest shoot ever, is sitting there screaming, this isn't fair, this isn't fair, when Steph's pulling up from like 80 feet and well, singing it. Like, same thing during the three-point shootout. Like, did you go full Larry Bird? Who's playing for second? He might as well. Cause... And it was so thrilling. It was so fun to watch. And and um, appreciative of Curry doing it. You know, and it's exactly. just like, you know what exactly. I mean? It's it, the fact that he's doing it. Exactly. It makes it that much more special and much more must see. And I know it might not be fair, if you will, but. He you still know, had to win with the last shot of, of, course, the, of the Of course, the of course, you know, the balls don't just go in themselves just because they touched his hand first, <laughs> you know, and then he's into it. And the fact that he's into it makes us more into it. And it is a diversion that we were all tuning in to see. And I thank him and I thank the NBA for doing it. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 